A really interesting thing happened to me a few weeks ago. I made a personal commitment to do a speaking event in New York City for a nonprofit group called the Shine Movement, which I'm really passionate about. And I thought, you know what, this is going to be a perfect opportunity for me to meet with all kinds of bigwigs in my industry. You know, I have to meet with my talent agent, my speaking agent, my publisher, my editor, the big podcast company. I'm like, I just sent out five invitations for the day I was going to be in New York City to go out and meet with all these people that I've been working with and interacting with, but hey, I can finally meet them face to face. You know how many of those meetings got accepted? One. I got four rejections. I got four thanks, but I'm busy, or this doesn't work for me, and like, great to have you here, but wish I could connect, but it's not a priority for me right now. Four rejections out of five invitations with people I knew. At first, I was real bummed out about this. I was disappointed. I was like disillusioned. I was like, am I even doing the right thing? What's going on with my life? And how come I suck so much? I can't get any meetings with any of these important people. But then eventually something happened. I realized that the reason I got so many rejections is because I'm trying so many new things. I'm taking a lot of risks. And when you take a lot of risks, you do get a lot of rejections. You do get a lot of failure. It's actually a sign and directly correlated with how much you are succeeding. If you are getting a high failure rate with what you're trying, again, I got four out of five meetings rejected, it means I'm on the right path, I'm breaking new ground, and I'm trying new things. If I asked to meet with three friends that I've met with for years, and they all said yes, great, that's fine, but I'm not growing. I'm not learning something new. I'm not trying to put out something new. The big question I want to leave you with today is, are you failing enough in your business, in your personal life, in your relationships? Are you trying enough new things that your rejection rate is a sign that you're on the right path?